snowmageddon out there. How's it going? It says live in five minutes. I know, but there's always a delay, so then I don't want to have the video just Four minutes. on pause. It's not. I'm publishing it right now. Eyes up here. Eyes up here. Three minutes. <laughs> it's not. It's live now. Good morning. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How's everybody? We're back. First live of the year. Yep. First live. <laughs> Gonna be lots to talk about today, suckers. No kidding. No kidding. So as people trick, woohoo, Anna's here. Hello, hello. She says first. She is first. Anna wins the... Hey, Anna. Where's that grinder I want to give away? How do I, how do I turn off the volume? It's not. Turn, it's live now. Turn off the volume? Good morning. Sorry. Hello. Look at me, I don't know how to use anything. My phone, I don't know how to use. Look Good morning, me. Anna. There's another Anna. There's two. Hello. Two Annas at once. Well, what do you want? What should we start with today? I think we need to start with Oprah. 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 What? Did you guys see? Okay, first of all, I didn't see the Golden Globes, but I got the important gist of it. was the Golden Globes? I yeah. thought it was the Oscars. I don't know. I don't watch any of that stuff. No, me neither. I used yeah. to. However, there was a huge... I'm sure you saw it. I don't know if you noticed. Well, you showed me. I sh Well, we watched it this morning. I was crying. It was mm -hmm. very powerful. Her message was amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, I have shared her speech on my Facebook page, so go check it out after. But did you notice everybody in the audience was wearing black? I did. Why was that? So it's um, it was a hashtag that's going, we wear black, I think it was, because time is up. That's another thing. Everyone's like, time is up. There's a unity happening, and everyone's wearing, wearing black to support this movement mm -hmm. of equality towards women yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um long overdue agreed long 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 overdue agreed so woo, there's lots of people here i've got the questions on dean's phone not questions but if you have questions ask them but hello jessica and alex and sarah carla from the netherlands what hello um jennifer and brianna and molly she says good morning finally alive it's been a while it has been a while it's been a while it was hard with December and gearing up for the holidays oh, and just nonstop stuff. Gifts exploding oh. all. Jeez, you know that's what? An yeah, that's a whole. After we talk about Oprah, we should talk about Christmas and like it was just movement towards making Christmas simple, back to basics. But you know what? You get involved with it and you get right into the nitty gritty of it. And you know what? Still so much crap. You just it's just crap. All there's mm -hmm. plastic and. I know our recycling has been. Anyway, like... let's talk about okay. Oprah. But... Let's talk about it. Okay. I want to hear your perspective about the whole thing. Well, first of all, when you showed me, um, uh, I was pretty amazed by that speech. Like, you know, being an older, you know, fuddy duddy type of person, I, when I watch that stuff, I'm like, uh huh, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Gen Xer. But Oprah always impresses me. She is just, why is Oprah not running this whole planet? I agree. Honestly, like she would get did, shit did we, done. Did we president. not see enough of her? I've seen more of Oprah in my life than I have of Bill Clinton, of George W. Bush, of uh, Donald Trump, and uh, and she's got a proven track record. Look at this girl; she's making money. She's uh, uh, inspiring women and men all over the planet. Like it's time, Oprah. It's time. Let's do it. No kidding. Run this sucker because so, nobody else is. Were you surprised by the speech? Well, you know, when Oprah stands up there, she's one person that, you know, when she gets up to do something, she's not going to fail. Right. So, you know, all eyes were on her and, and uh, I'm sure that video is being played worldwide. Uh, it's very inspiring. It's, uh, it's something that needed to be said a long, long time ago. And a lot of great people have talked about equality uh, uh, towards women for a long, long time. And, and it gets a lot of... Um, it gets a lot of... Uh, you know, airplay, but is anyone really doing anything about it? It's, it's, um, I think when Oprah says something, it, it has a little bit more impact, uh, a little bit more impact. So what do you think? Well, I also thought it was kind of fitting that yesterday we had just taken the kids. We just got home from taking the kids to this trailblazing women exhibit at a mm. museum. Mm -hmm. And I was very moved. If you were following me on Instagram yesterday, I was all hashtagging and inspiring yeah, I took a picture and getting of it. quotes yeah and it had all the you know you look at all the buttons that women have and men uh, feminists uh, that have worn these buttons to protests against uh, inequality uh, yeah. uh, towards women over the years over the decades 
and you, you know you see one button and you can imagine these women getting there's a, a display uh, uh, of a bus yeah um, I don't I didn't re- you know I, I wish I would have read a little bit more about that but the idea women was protesting at these women w- protesting well guess what one of there was a couple an older couple um, a little older like older than you next generation sitting there and she was like I wonder if I'll see my face because it had been it was local protests and she and her husband um, had attended these protests yeah. And I was like, what? And so Esme was like, really? And talking to this woman, like you were... And can you imagine being in... Oh, sorry, I just want to yeah. step back. So you look at and like there's literally thousands of buttons in this display. And they're not made up buttons like, you know, uh, that they just mm-hmm. did for display. They're yeah. buttons that came from individual events uh, uh, from, I, I believe, in North America. Yeah. And, I mean, you think of all the protests of... Uh, 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 for all those buttons to be manufactured like it's it's there was and i mean subject matter ranged from like Mm. daycare protesting for you know daycare to be affordable so women can work um about midwifery about lgbtq community about like gender laws in in workplace like you name it it was there like single parenting divorce abuse rape abortion all of the things it was all there it was like wow yeah you know and it was quite amazing to see it so organized and so structured and so empowering like i don't yeah. know it was just you know there was an iron for example and esme and i were playing with this iron and it said okay now run this iron back and forth 10 times and do it 10 more times oh yeah and 10 more times and it was like so we and esme and i were chatting and then you came in and esme's like okay hey, dad you do it now and she's like what do you mean i have to stay home and iron all day like <laughs> what is this and it was yeah. just like no kidding girlfriend oh thank goodness for people who have fought for equality yeah. to make changes so it was a very like I even find it very moving. My eyes get a little watery because I just, I was even saying to you, like, can you imagine a world when Esme is working where she doesn't have to deal with that stuff, where it's not just like, yep, add that experience to the list of garbage behavior, you know, yeah. towards women. And, and and it's, and more, I mean, the message toward women is clear. The message towards everybody listening to Oprah is clear, but the message that I took as a man, yeah, as, and I hope other men feel like this, is it's okay to be a feminist. Yeah. It doesn't make you weak. I will still kick your ass <laughs> if you come into my yard without permission. I will still fight you in a parking lot if you insult my wife. So don't don't think that I'm going to be weak over it. However, it's about time that men start stepping up and and and, and looking at themselves. And and you know, I don't know a lot of men that are are like this, but maybe you are and you don't know it. I don't know, but let's Let's start, let's start progressing towards something because people are sick of it. I'm sick of it. I don't want to work in an environment like that. I work in my well, profession actually, with men and women. And, and You and, and I talk about that a lot in your profession, yeah. like how difficult it must be for female pilots. Oh, my God. Like what they've had to go up against. I mean, and it is a unique working situation because you are literally well, two people in a cockpit. Well, I have one, that, uh, one uh, lady that works with me who's very experienced. And uh, I talked to her about maybe coming on with you. And uh, I mean, she's had a journey. Like, I think that would be really neat. Yeah, but you know what? Like, uh, even in Asia, I flew with the. Uh, um, I was a co-pilot for a a, a, a woman captain, and we went to uh, uh, Hong Kong together. And man, she's you know, she's kind of manning a seven forty seven with uh, a whole bunch of people on it. And let me tell you, she's in command. She knows what she's doing, and and it doesn't matter if she, she was a man or a woman. She commands respect. And uh, that's the power that uh, women have, that men have, that everybody has, and it should be recognized equally. Exactly. I see some comments here. Veronica was saying, you know, exactly. A lot of people talk about it, but who's actually doing something about it? Yeah, Um, right. And good point. And that's what I was going to say is that it's... I'm sorry, I'm a little bit cold because I had the chilies today. Also, there's like a million centimeters of snow outside. I don't want to talk about the snow. Um, Doing something about it. Doing something about it, and and it, you know it starts with with uh, each of us individually, not going out and saying, hey, you know, why don't you do this and do that, and it, like commanding everybody to do what you think they should do, but you know, looking at oneself and deciding, well, you know what, you know, I'm a bit of an asshole, and maybe I could do things differently here, yeah. or maybe I should have, uh, you know. Well, just like she said, maybe there's little girls watching, oh, you know, watching television right now, Wasn't going, that something? I'm. You know, I don't need to be treated that way or this is not okay and to change the way that they feel about themselves and how that's going to impact their future. And so something that we're doing with the kids and one of you guys suggested, there's a book called Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. It should just be 
celebrating Rebel Girls. But Rebel Girls. Yeah. So every night, the kids pick three, and we've done this since Christmas when we got the book. They pick three. They're just one pages. And some of them are a little bit, like, too old, some of the accomplishments of these women. But it ranges from astronomers from, like, year BC 300 and, like, to directors of film, like, the woman who made the movie Brave was a woman. And she she was, like, the first illustrator in Disney and all of this stuff. So just really fascinating women who've made a difference in the world. Mm-hmm. And I don't just read it to Esme. We all sit there and we read the story. And then depending on the person we've read about, we look up that person and find out what ki- type of change they made in the world. Um, and just knowing that, like, it isn't necessarily, you don't have to start a movement mm. or lead a, a walk or whatever to make a change. It's sometimes just those little things. And so I think it's just those, like teaching your kids about people like Florence Nightingale. And Esme was really re- interested in Florence Nightingale mm. and what she did. Yeah, she, and Yeah, she really was. And and it, it's nice, at least they have access to it. And Esme can, and like Amanda was saying, just read about these people. You didn't even know they existed until... Uh, uh, you know, the, the, I didn't, I mean, I knew yeah. some of them, but uh, some of them I'm reading like, oh, really? Wow, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. And it's not just yeah. people from ancient times. It's current people alive today doing amazing things. So, yeah. very fascinating. Like um, Emily's like, hey, Emily Norris. I can't really see that. Cutest so. couple, Hi, Emily she Norris. Says. Oprah is amazing. I agree. Um, and Samantha says, I love how you guys are teaching your children. Great job showing them examples of equality. Yay, Documented Journey is here. Um, let's see, Kimberly Mepper. Oh, hate. Joanna's watching. Hi, Joanna. Do, 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 do. Anyway, yeah, this is for, anyway, so we talked about that. I like the speech. I hope that it has some, some weight and I, and I hope this, it seems like it, it I mean, that's why we're talking very about it today powerful. because I thought it was very powerful and man, there's a, a lot of sweeping changes that are, are, are going to take place with the, um, you know, the, uh, the alleged actions or the confirmed, I don't know if, uh, what's going on with the Weinstein case. It's very uh, tragic mm-hmm. in any, in any, uh, in any case, uh, uh, that this stuff ha- had gone on for such a long time in plain view of everybody. Cause it but was not so just acceptable. The, yeah. But not just the sexual assault things, which are heinous and terrible. We could talk about them all day and, and, uh, uh, you know, and they shouldn't be understated, but also, you know, Oprah talking about, you know, just the empowerment of women in the workplace. And I loved how she went, you know, we were looking at actress, various actors' faces, women and men, and they're, you know, they're engaged. And then when she brought up, you know, the factory worker, the dentist, yes. the, you know, whatever, like that is the message that needs to be sent. It's not that you have an important, this important job. It's everyone. Everybody across the board. You're cleaning someone else's house like Oprah's mom, or you're, you're, you're a lifeguard, or you're a nurse, or you're a... a a waitress or whatever ever daycare provider whatever we're all important and we're all part of a giant global community and it's about time that we start acting like it not a bunch of uh uh, you know warmongering reckless idiots which uh which is happening as we know but about the yeah with the news of uh you know, North Korea and the United States and oh my uh, gosh, just, whose button is bigger? Yeah, it's just like what? 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 You were you? Yeah. Wow. You, I mean, you don't even know what <laughs> just, to. Yeah. You don't even know what to say about that stuff anymore. It's just come on. Yeah. Enough. No, the world's sick of war. We're sick of it. What does it do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't under, I don't understand what it does. It makes that. money for certain people, but that's yeah. about it. Well, even I was reading, I mean, this is, I digress, but there's this whole thing with Pakistan and the U.S. right now, and they're both, like, upset with each other, but no matter who makes what move, everybody hurts in the end, and it's just like, what are we doing? Anyway. Anyway. So. Heavy. Oprah, we love her. She's amazing. I was moved to tears. We're going to have Oprah thought, on here. So We're going to invite her. We're going to have her on. <laughs> Yeah. She's not going to come to her. She's kind of busy, but yeah. But anyway, she doesn't find us. I was moved, and I think so many people were, and I'm excited to see what's going to come of this. And something I'm doing in the next couple weeks is I'm going to be going to the Women's March. Uh, There's stuff happening in the area here, and so I'm excited. Mm. More to come on that. Yeah. Okay. What else can we talk about? So, well, we also were going to talk a little bit about our New Year's plans. Oh, yeah. New Year's resolutions. Kind of a boring but important topic every. Well, they kind of know mine. Gym memberships go through the roof. Woo! Well, we're, okay, I said we were going to join the gym, but we're going to join like a fitness thing. We're going to test it out, give yeah. ourselves a goal of like, maybe let's try for three months and see how it goes. Yeah. Um, but we're excited. We're excited. It's been a slippery slope from the time <laughs> we came back to Canada because we eat a lot here, man. Yeah. 
We eat a lot. Like, we eat like dinosaurs see, eat. Yeah, well, start making apple crisps. We made two apple crisps day after each other, and they were so good. So good. But I have pants that require buttons Amarula and zippers, and Amarula apple crisps, the recipe's on my Instagram, whatever that is. Planet Dean 1. Planet Dean 1. Tune in or whatever. Or don't. <laughs> or don't. Or don't. <laughs> If you don't want to get fat, don't turn it. Because I like cooking, so I made this Amarula apple crisp, which I didn't need to make. But you guys ate one whole pan. I know. And it's then I made delicious. another one, and it's half gone. So, um, so yeah, it's a slippery slope. You know, you especially if you live in a cold climate, it's no excuse. Because I know there's people out there just giving her, man, and in the gym. And we're not, I'm not a gym person. So um, I prefer a structured yeah. class. I like to go hard yeah. for like 45 minutes to an hour and be done with it. But I don't really like having to think about it. I know that there's apps that you can use in conjunction with going to the gym, but it's like... Oh, yeah. There's that one app, 7 or something. But anyway, there's apps. Did you see this one? No. There's lots of different ones. It's got ones. really short workouts, just like that. You know where you're doing those hit workouts? Oh, yeah. So anyway, in the summer, we were... This is the to finish up this thought yeah, that yeah, I had. Yeah. In the summer, Amanda got... We were doing the yoga. I still occasionally do, especially when I go on the road. I was with doing the, my rope workouts from the internet, which yeah, were really good. The hit workouts, yeah. which are hardcore. We're, we're looking at each other. We're... Uh, <laughs> I hate you. But I hate you. <laughs> but that was really good. That was really good. And... Um, what I would like to, but it's hard to maintain. And then well, you guys fall. know I was working out on the deck. Well, now the deck is covered in ten feet of snow, so that yeah, ain't gonna so happen. Yeah. So what do we do? And then. And I just want to. I want to yeah. leave the house. So anyway, this is one where you like sign up on an app and then you go to the class. I'm gonna start it, I think on Wednesday, and I'll see how it goes. But I'm just excited to have something to attend, like go yeah, to. Yeah, and I'm gonna go as well. High five. Yeah, high five. Okay. I'm more excited to do. Before, I'm going to do before and after photos. But don't you find when winter comes? What I was going to say is, don't you find when winter comes or it gets cold that you automatically just want to like, I need to bake a turkey. Why? Why? I don't know. I just want to bake oh. one. How about some cream of carrot soup with extra cream? Sure. And you just eat and eat and eat. And I'm and not. Eat. And for some reason in the winter, I'm not inclined to like make a smoothie for some reason it's like cold on my teeth i don't know mm -hmm. like i'm just not i eat way more fresh foods in the summer and so i just need to like switch my mind a bit yeah and start just getting it but i think when i work out long story short we're excited so there's a goal yeah there's there's our goal what's your goal. goals yeah you guys got any listen i'm gonna steal your ideas i would really like some well documented cool journey goals. says her husband and i both went to the gym yesterday well done well done friend uh, Brianna says her favorite is yoga and then at home she does YouTube workouts. Yes, YouTube workouts are awesome. The trouble is I don't really want to work out in my basement. The kids are there. Their toys are there. I work there. I need to leave the house. So I'm Hey, pumped. Hey, Brie, documented journey. Was it your first time at the gym? That's what I want to know. Is it, is this, was this happening before New Year's or is this happening after New Year's? Because that's kind of what I want to know. Oh, like, like where, at what, what point in the journey are you? Yeah, where, where are you starting? Because... <laughs> It's pretty impressive. Uh, well, she you said too, she hasn't had a smoothie either. It's just like, I don't know, in the summer, the blender's always going now. I'm like, where's the blender? Like, it's seriously though, where is it? No, it's but, right up there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I digress. <laughs> so that's our fitness thing <coughs> happening. So we're excited about that. And then personal, go like, oh, yeah. Self uh, or personal development, like positive development about yourself. What, what do you think? What, what is. Well, I already shared mine, but mine is like, I'm trying. I'm, I mean, that was your. That was your Sorry, that was your... Uh, Work one. F physical goal. But do you yeah. have anything about yourself that you're kind of going like, oh, you know... Well, there's... Okay, I so I told... I shouldn't swear as much or whatever. Oh, I should think about that. But um, I, was t I told you guys already in a video that I would like to continue to like live my life with integrity. But I think what I didn't position is I do that online already. But I feel like what's really pushing me is that the stuff I'm consuming, I need to watch people who are creating content with integrity because i find i'm very easily swayed by my emotions by i don't know it's kind of like you look at someone's instagram feed and you're like how is that real life and i get very like overwhelmed but i didn't realize it was overwhelming what do you mean you're talking about the people that are have the the very glitzy picture inst perfect instagrams i i have to admit i love i love looking at that stuff <laughs> I love it. Because you've been on Instagram for like but, two months. But also, I can remember, like, what's that, what's the na lady's name? Laura Reed? She's on my Instagram? I don't know. Well, whatever. I like looking at her stuff because she goes all over the place and her... Oh, I've, yeah, Laura. I've been, to, I've been to the same places and I'm like, it didn't look like that when I was there. <laughs> and everyone's like sweating and disgusting. Where's that gum wrapper? <laughs> Where's the gum wrappers? Where's the... In Bali? Where's all the Bing Tang beer, <sighs> uh, beer bottle labels in the surf? Those aren't yeah. there. So somebody must go ahead and 
break that out of the sea or something. Photoshop. Before. Photoshop that out of the sea. <laughs> but it's good to watch. <laughs> and and you know what? It's entertainment. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to see your Instagram if you're like, hey, I'm making bread today. You know, and it's like it done with a, a cheap camera. Or, I, I don't. Know, people want to see. Uh, they want, I, I need a dose. They of want both, some eye candy. Though. Hmm? I want a dose of both, is what I'm realizing. Well, your Instagram is a dose of both. You have. I, I don't watch my own stuff. I'm telling you, I watch oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> talking about who I'm watching. Yeah. We didn't talk about this beforehand. That, yeah. but also I think the other thing is, I didn't mention it, but I'm realizing I'm, I'm really thinking about it every day, is kindness. Like, stopping and taking time to be considerate of other people. Like, I don't know. We had a situation on New Year's yeah. Day where a neighbor acted very oddly towards us. And I was very, very, very bothered by this. Like, I was so surprised how sensitive I was to it. But I was like, Amanda, yeah. I want to go and knock some heads. But what is this person going through? Like, why are they treating me like this? And I really, like, tried to... I know sometimes you just got to be like, people are jerks and that's it. Yeah. But I, you, I, you I gotta, need to, like... Yeah, it was pretty... Yeah, it was it was a parking problem or something like that, and you know the way this person approached us was pretty aggressive for New Year's Day, and our kids were watching, and I mean we didn't say much. What are you gonna say in front of your your kids? But uh, you know people kind of they kind of go outside the line sometimes of how you're supposed to act around your 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 fellow man. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> like, I don't understand. But that's a you know that's a good one too. Like I think the difference from last year might. My, my personal thing from last year is, you know, I wanted to be a little bit more personable and, and kind to the people that I know and engage them a little bit more. But also this year I'm adding a little clause and it's just like, I want to, I'm going to encourage, I want a little bit back as well. I don't want to just start one. giving it out. Oh, you're the best. Here, come on over, have a beer on the deck. I want something back. I want some engagement back. I want a kind word back. I, and, and that sounds really selfish, mm. but you know what? At the same time, it, we're not monkeys here well, to I'm perform not a, for We're you. not martyrs. We're, yeah. You know, you think about all the years, uh, years back. Uh, uh, anyway, I don't want to get into that. But I was it think- seems to be a trend where people are waiting for you to entertain them. Well, I had a friend a long like, time ago who was just a genius at entertaining. Like, the best cook, the best hostess. And she would have all the wine. And people would show up and they'd be like, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Bye. And they, they would go. And, and and she was expected to always put on that show every single time, but never got anything mm. back. And and in the years following, uh, she's basically like just almost, you know, abandoned. Tired? People, or... Well, people took her for granted. And I think she got mad, or not mad, but I think she kind of stopped doing it. People were like, well, well, she doesn't even have these parties anymore or whatever like that. Like people will really take you for granted. So I think when you do that type of thing, you're, you're, you're putting out, you have to kind of, you know, leave no friend untested, they say. And in that way, I think it means that, you know, expect a little bit back. You don't have to go and make somebody a cake or whatever, but just a kind word or stop by or whatever. Interact a little bit. So that's, and, and I'm also going to, from the other side, when people do kind things for me, yeah. I'm going to make a point of it, you know. Like it's the old Miss Manor things, you know, like write a thank you note for yeah, things that you get. take the time. Take the time. Um, I find it's like, for me, it's like making a phone call. Like sometimes yeah. I get really busy, for example, and I haven't talked to like his mom in a while. And I'm like, why haven't I done that? And, and it's why just, would you not talk to my mom? I love you guys should mama. all call my mom. Here's the number. <laughs> she could use a friend. Uh, she's having a hard time. But yeah, it's like just taking the time. And, or making the time because I think we all get busy. We all have so many things to do at all times. Yeah. But to stop and like, you know, make a phone call to someone or send a thank you note or take someone for lunch that you've been meaning to for a while and those types of things. So it's yeah. like that kindness element. So I yeah. like it. We're both on the same. What else page. you got on there? I can't really see that um, far away, but no, pay it forward. That's what Doc, yeah, Doc pay, Van Journey was saying. Yeah, pay it forward. That's right. Um. I mean, <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> Simply stuff. I've been using my toddlers as workout equipment, lifting, jumping, dancing. <laughs> you know what? That is great exercise. Like they are heavy. They are heavy. They get heavier. They do. Um, Gentle thrifty mama says Dean is still in the honeymoon Instagram phase. Yeah, girl. Like he'll get there. About how? You... <laughs> Gentle thrifty mama. Oh. Because you still like all those pretty like perfect Instagrams. Well, I don't really spend a lot of time looking at Instagram. To be quite honest, yeah. I, I mean, I. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't look at it a lot. 
And Heather was saying she likes the way I corrected from saying taking the time to making the time. Mm. Right. Because yeah. there's only so much time. And you have to choose how to fill it. Yeah. So there's that subject. Pretty yeah. well what killed. What else were we going to talk about? I was going to talk about... Should we talk about that just briefly? Okay. Well, we did talk about it. Or I talked about it last week, but the whole Logan Paul situation. Yeah. I wanted to give my opinion on it. And I don't know it. if anyone cares, but... Go but for what it. is that kid's name? The name we shall not speak of. Logan Paul. So, so yeah. So Logan... Um, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Akogaki. Oka, I can't remember. Okaga, whatever the hell forest it is, uh, just at the base of Mount Fuji, where a lot of Japanese uh, uh, people uh, take their lives. Um, you know, this is so. This thing came out, and Amanda told me about this Logan Paul, and and I don't know who that is. So I look out who Logan Paul is. Is Logan Paul right? Am I saying mm-hmm, that? Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, he's a, he's a kooky, wacky guy, and he's oh, I'm crazy, and you know. And uh, so then he, he, he published some, uh, some, some f- video of a person who had taken their life in the forest. And, um, you know, the, uh, I've known about that forest for uh, a very, very, very long time. And, uh, and it's all on the Internet and people have, you know, camped overnight and all this thing. The thing about it is that, you know, um, should you forgive him or not forgive him? Who cares? I, I don't care. Uh, forgive him or not forgive him. It's just, it's, he's just an entertainer. Right. He's just like the bumble ball for babies. And he's bouncing around. He's like, oh, look at I'm fun. And I, I there's no uh, moral high ground or low ground. There's, there's, he just does whatever he wants. And then he, you know, he apologized online, which was nice of him. But he really should have apologized to the Japanese people. Mm. Maybe even learned a little bit of Japanese and done it formally. Uh, because, you know, having traveled to Japan a lot uh, in that region, Taiwan is also uh, like that. Uh, people are very, very sensitive. And their traditions go back farther than we have civilization in the West. It is incredibly complicated, and and it is so important to not offend. And and uh, I mean, I was pissed off by his original video, and then I saw that garbage video of him running around Japan, throwing fish at people, yeah, disrespecting the police, throwing. He was like dressed as a Pokemon, and he threw like a ball in a policeman's face. Yeah, it's and just like, and and the thing is about it is that is it okay? Let's look at it in, in reality because order and respect is so prized in some of these uh, Asian countries, um, the police are not going to always react, especially to a Westerner, you know, uh, uh, you know, and I'll speak, this is, I'm not sound, trying to sound racist, but some of these places, as a white person, that you go into Philippines, uh, Malaysia, uh, Indonesia, you're looked on as an oddity, you know, uh, maybe a novelty in some way, but they don't see maybe a lot of, of of a white or westerners for that matter and i don't use white in a racist way but like you're much more visible i mean color wise mm. you know to, to the locals i guess um and th- th- you get away with everything so you really have to take it upon yourself to act accordingly to be act respectful. polite to be respectful to to uh because uh, you stick out you, and, you and, stick out and you're also an example for for how these people see western culture so what this Logan fella, mm. you know, he's doing things to police and whatnot. Well, let's see you try that in New York City. Let's see you try that in Mexico City uh, or, or Santiago, Chile or, or, or Rio de Janeiro. They will beat you to death, buddy. Like, you would not get away with that anywhere else. So you're no hero to do that. You find it funny? They, they're looking at you like you're a fool. And, 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 ugh, and, yeah. and you should have took, taken the, you know, that doesn't, anybody with any knowledge, I'm, if you're, if you uh, value his, uh, uh, if you're uh, a fan of him, I, I don't put you down. You like to watch what you like to watch. But the fact of the matter is you're not doing anything special there. You're getting away with something that pretty well everybody else could get away with, but you shouldn't feel good about it because you've hurt people's feelings. What? I think you need some water. Sorry. <laughs> I think a little thirsty over there. So that's really all I have to say about that. <laughs> Tell and, us uh, how you really feel. No, no it's I'm upsetting. Kidding. It's upsetting. Well, because it's of... like picking a fight. It's like going over there. And, and mind you, I mean. Well, we were disagreeing a little bit in, yeah. uh, uh, several times having this discussion because Dean's like, who cares? He's just like performing for people and he's an entertainer. But the difference is that the reason there's, I feel like the reason there's this huge uproar is that 
you know, he didn't, like his audience are predominantly children. That is where we're str- like struggling a little bit. So there's these children. See, and I, I, know, didn't, I didn't know that. And right. Then... Now, of course, as parents, we also have to take ownership of like, we are the parents. And so we are allowing our children to watch content on a platform that is not necessarily entirely regulated. Right. So you've got kids watching videos. Oh, yay. Another video from my favorite creator pops on. And it's that, like he took it to a whole other place he shouldn't have taken it to. And that's the part, like where does, you know, the responsibility lies with us as parents to be aware of what our kids are watching. But then also as the creator, where is the responsibility there? You know, sure, he may, he probably made like $50,000 on that video, maybe more. Well, whatever. You know, who cares? Like, but it's, uh, maybe he made a million, who, yeah. who cares? But the fact that matters is that, you know, d- d- little reality, like I'll put it like this, Logan, Paul to me just and I don't know the gentleman so so but just from that type of person say I had to fix like the car and uh, I would get Jack to help me hey Jack can you pass me that wrench no I got it no Logan just you just go sit over there okay so you don't hurt yourself <laughs> in your Pokemon you're just, outfit you're, you're, not, you're not even a you don't act like a man you don't no. you don't act like a, an adult you hit, hit the road go, go make your money and go sit in hotel rooms whatever you're doing but but just realize the people that know okay, that have traveled the world, that we know the world, that's not acceptable for what, what you did. And the thing about it is you didn't get away with anything. And you know, because yeah. you could have anyone do that. Yeah, we could Anyone do that. could do that. And the, the police, the good people of Japan, they have the, um, the respect and the courtesy and the deep, deep, uh, 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 they're in their deep, deep, uh, the roots of their culture <laughs> that, you know, they, they, they're probably looking at you just going, you're an idiot. You're nothing. That's how much thought they put into it. They're like, whatever. And they go on to think about better things yeah. because they're better than that. Yeah. They've gone through, uh, uh, you know, after Second World War, we get in that. But they, they've gone through uh, terrible adversity. And, well, and I love what and, um, I was yeah. watching a creator yesterday um, and she she made a very good point, a valid point for the young people. And I thought this was just an interesting way for her to spin it. But she goes, for all those young women or young boys who look up to him like he's so hot and he's so perfect and I want to be like him. There are so many other good looking, good people doing good things with their platform. Like, just look around. He's not the only, you know, person out there to idolize. Yeah, I, so, I don't want to get the idea that we should, you know. Just, you're not trying to destroy a person. No, no, and, and not dissuade him. He's an enter, but he's an entertainer, and that's all he is. He's he's uh, he's something to look at and keep you entertained. Yeah. So why we get shocked? We probably get shocked as much as maybe the Japanese police officers that were just probably just shook their head and went, "Yeah, whatever, dude." Don't be thinking that if you did do something really against the law, there that they, they would have you pushed up against a car as fast as anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't think you got away with anything because. You didn't. You just True. you just proved that you, you couldn't behave yourself in another culture. And, uh, and well done. And yeah, yeah, nice job. Golf clap. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, Can I have some of your water? Yeah, please. I get talking. Talk. I get this. Oh, white mark. I can't even. My ear is like I'm going but, to end, hey. Dean. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. You had a good run. So long. Uh. <laughs> Let's to, kiss right now. No, get over there. <laughs> God, you ever have that with your spouse? There's just something and you're like, you start to twitch. Drink your water. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Anything else we should add? I'm sure we've been at it for a while. What else? We talked about Oprah, goals, BS. Anything else? Anything else going on? Nope. Uh, pretty well. Oh, so podcast is in the works. Have I told you guys? Don't say the name. It's a secret. You yeah, but- yeah. So I mentioned my podcast or yours. Mine. I don't have one. But <laughs> so, in my goals video, I told you guys that in the new year, the podcast is coming. I've ironed out a name. I'm gonna get it all sorted out. I'm working on the branding of all the things. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited. So, I like to listen to you talk. You do? I mean, hold on. Let me, let me <laughs> clarify that. When you speak about certain things, like say you, you, you've done your research or in whatever. Yeah. Sorry, I had that little water bubble there. Um, you, you are, you are, you're very well spoken. When you're not, when you're bitching me out about just about everything, <laughs> you're not as well spoken. <laughs> but yeah, you have a nice voice to listen to and I'm excited to, to listen to it. Thank and, you. Uh, Will we be a guest sometime? I don't think I'm that interesting, really. You know, I, and I don't really want to get into that type of thing. So I'm going to say no. 
What now? But How many podcasts? What if you have somebody else that's... Uh, I will have other people. Sh- I got nothing going on. I talk about the same four things. If you guys ever tune into my YouTube channel, which probably will never exist, you'll talk about like... Oh, look. Dean thinks he knows what he's talking about. Episode one. <laughs> that was boring. Things Dean can school you on. Episode yeah. two. Making you feel in... No. I hate winter. Episode three. What else? We're moving again. <laughs> Some... Just put it up to a vote. Should we blow this taco stand? Because honestly, I'm so sick of snow. Did you guys know? I'm not sick of snow like in a conversation over coffee. It's like, <laughs> hey, Marty. Yeah, I'm sick of snow. Me too. Uh-huh. Let's get a lot of So there's no, no Marty. I'm it's sick... Amanda. <laughs> I call you Marty. <laughs> I'm so sick of snow that I'm just like, I get up in the morning and it's just like, oh my God. He shoveled today and I was like, what's happening? Shocking. But I shoveled in the way of not like, I'm going to shovel this and have go have a You're Tim Hortons. Angry. I shoveled because I'm like, it's like, it's like, it's on me. It's on me. That kind of shoveling. Like, get, go, go away. <laughs> right now, look at that. Look through that window. Oh, it looks like we're looking white. at infinity. Our neighbor's house is completely white. It keeps snowing. I'm sick of this. And then, to make it worse, my friend, our friend in Penang, tags us in a photo. Oh, at, at our, our favorite, favorite massage, spa. our favorite massage place. I was like, and it's like, hey, thinking my, about you guys. We're like, great, have a mai tai on me. Like, I don't have mai tais. Whatever. Huh? You made that up. I did. Have a drink. Yeah. What? Any other subjects before we? Oh, what will the focus of the podcast be? I'm super curious. So. Good question. Good question. I haven't come up with my like tagline yet because I think that's important. But basically, it's going to be a lot of stuff I like to talk about on my channel, obviously, but really like digging deep. So taking one subject matter and going... Like investigate it? Like you're going to investigate a, 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 a subject and talk about it? Well, I want to have a guest who's like an expert in it and we're going to talk about stuff, mm. whether it's like, you know body stuff after baby or you know a fe- raising a feminist or like all these kinds of things yeah i think there's a couple hot things that i i think you should talk about one is this i i think you should really delve into feminism and what it means for because women like well are women feminists i don't know are they some are, of them don't think they are m- yeah are men, they confuse- can men be feminists and and yeah. be heterosexual yeah like this is this is what it, this is honestly questions that come to people's minds yeah uh, only from what i've seen on the internet so that would be a good one to talk about it'd be nice to talk about one subject and i think you should have my dad on is talking about socializing yes. in the 50s as compared to now i am that one and how they how people ended up because lately i this winter i've spent so much time on my phone so it's basically list first i like lists I do research for my job a little bit, and I look for other jobs in warm countries. That's pretty well all, <laughs> all I do. The time. Oh, and I watch uh, Walking Dead because Walking Dead rocks. I don't watch. I it. don't want to talk about that right now, though. But what I think you should talk about is have talk about you like know, real life stuff how, and where we're going in the future. Because I'm yes. interested to see like we we you look at the years that passed by since we've been here, and we made some good friends. But do we really socialize that much? I do. You do. I, I'm, you don't. I don't as much. But um, because I, I like to be by myself, or not by myself, but I like to just... It's like a turtle. Oh, no, I'm not like a turtle. But I like to, you know, I think about things and I like to... I, I visit with people and Oh, I know. I You're friends. very friendly. You just don't seek that out where I'm like, bye, I'm out and I need friends. To yeah. Go fun- I need friends. So that was... So, so the feminist thing, socialization in the yeah. jet age, or uh, and space I age, talk whatever about... we're in, that's two subjects... And also, I would go heavy on what your viewers suggest. Oh, yeah. And that's the other thing is I want to know what do you guys want to talk about? Because obviously, that's what I want to talk about. Because I want you guys to be in. So is a podcast like a radio? Kind cast? of. It's but like but your is own... it edited before or is it oh, live? Oh, yeah. It's going to oh, be okay, edited. Okay. And well, that's, that's not that I've risky. even got the structure of the show, how I wanted to. I'm really excited. So mm. I'm going to be launching in early spring. So I have some time to film and edit a few of the podcasts ready to rock for you guys. Mm-hmm. So I'm pumped. A little bit of merch on the side. Yep. What yeah. else is going oh, on there? Last minute comments. Let's see. Um, Gentle Thrifty Mama was saying, oh, yes, I'd love to hear that discussion about socializing. Very excited for that. Uh, Teresa was saying she agrees the novelty of snow wears off real quickly. Um, she's about to go out and shovel her driveway. Give me blue skies, sunshine, salt water any day. Teresa, are you from Australia? I can't remember now. I think I follow her on Instagram. Yeah. Snow. Mm. <laughs> Dean chooses to stay in his shell. 
Well, I don't really have a show. Well. Um, Red Cap, yes, I'd love to hear about feminism. Geeks Raising Geeks, I'd love to see Joanna from Nesting Story be a guest. I love her videos. As do I. As we do. And she will. Yep. Um, and Documented Journey's husband is obsessed My, with job hunting. I know. What is that? Like, I, I'm happy with the job. That's something I, you know, I want to talk about. I mean, am I the only? I'd like to know if I'm the only one. But my job hunting is specifically geared to temperature of the climate. <laughs> like I would work at a far, I would work where they treat me poorly and, and it's very stressful just to have those days of sunshine and spa and and whatever. Or I'm and not ocean. like the most hot climate human because I do like... You love the climate. I, you love the climate. I do, as I long love as it. You, but you're not a sea person. You need a pool. You'd be good in Vegas, one of these like pool places, pool party Vegas? places places really yeah in your little silver bikini or whatever you'd wear there <laughs> Got plans. And, but i like the ocean i love you know this that um oh yeah and now mind you where we lived I, there was some scary stuff in the ocean sea snakes saltwater crocs sharks lots of plastic bags unfortunately yeah south uh we were in the uh, indian ocean yeah. so indian ocean's got some A little bit of nasty critters so yeah so anyway, and don't even get him started yeah. on the whole moving thing because it's just never going to Yeah, so talking about moving type thing and, 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 and feeling rooted and feeling satisfied uh, where that's you are, that, that's something Something that, I'd like to talk about because but, as, an, as having a person having lived an expatriate type of life and moved somewhere, what, I don't know if that ever feeling that ever goes away, like that wanderlust. I feel like it comes up every little bit where I'm like this desire to abandon ship and go live somewhere Well, else. I have this conflicting thing lately where I think about the quote, I think it was from Nelson Mandela, and who, I can't remember the exact quote, maybe you guys can get it. It's like, who are you not to, or uh, who are you to be great and famous and blah, 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 and, and, it says, and then it says, who are you not to be, you're a child of God, and and I can't remember the rest of the quote. And it's this thing. It conflicts with everybody saying lately this song, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. Hey, listen, I'm grateful too. But does that mean that you're just supposed to be like, okay, there's the barbecue. We got the deck. Here's the deck chairs. Kids are in school. I'm grateful because this person's, you know, perishing in a war-torn country or whatever. I right. think that I feel like I always want to look for other jobs and keep on going because I want to see, I want to challenge myself. And I also like money and I like you know adventure I like adventure and I want my kids to like that yeah. I don't think being stationary is necessarily we I may not be the mo- I think we're a minority in that yeah, we're a bad process, example which is fine want some water no please drink it though <laughs> Are those white things on the side of my mouth he's like oh like walking dead oh. it's the sound I'm like please where's the hose just spray him down disgusting anyways uh, I think we've been sitting too close to each other for too long. Let's see, last few comments here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, I made the comment. It's not a very nice comment. Oh. She's pushing me up against the chair. Like, she goes, you got enough room? You got enough room? I said, well, I can't spread my legs. I said, this isn't eunuch tube. Because I have to spread my legs. They that? get it. They get uh, it. Eunuch tube. That was tube. in poor taste. Well, Katie is uncool, says it doesn't go away ever. She's taught in Japan and Italy, and she randomly starts looking up jobs in other countries Boy, when she's bored. It's a sickness. Katie would be interesting to talk to about, you know, we were talking about that Logan Paul, she, Paul thing and then, the, you know, the Japanese culture. And, oh. and, you know, the other thing I just want to finish mentioning is like, oh, my God, did you hear about this one? I mean, this thing in Japan about the missing millions Kids that won't leave their parents' houses to, to, for any reason at all. Uh, they are on video games. Mostly, I think it's mostly young men. What? Yeah, they, they just don't want the child. Google that stuff. Uh, What's it called? The Missing Millions. And um, I, I saw it on YouTube when I was uh, a while ago. And um, it's about the kids don't want to go out. They're, you know, because there's lack of job opportunity and they don't want to be challenge because you know it's so hard to get uh wow. it's basically an all and china's so we're, so china's we're expected to like coddle these people till they're well you see there tiger what what is it what it is is that okay so i go here's so the thing about, like it'd be our kids no no this is in japan 
Oh, I thought you were talking about like a culture. No, 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 no. Your kids at home. Are you kidding? There's nothing but jobs. I I mean, there's nothing. If you want a low-paying job, there's nothing but jobs. I think. Okay, let me let me restart. Go. So the missing millions in Japan. It's an interesting thing. You got to Google it. I I don't. Maybe we called something else, but I think it's called the missing millions, because the environment is so competitive. I noticed the same thing in in China, Korea. You have twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand, whatever people showing up for a hundred jobs. Oh, and yes. these kids are coddled that you know are not coddled but they're they're said you know right from the beginning okay you know you got to do this and this and this to get this job and get this market and, and they can't compete and then you mm. think about the people that that, that uh, take their own lives you know in some of these societies some of these people work like dogs man the the the, the businessman sleeping in the street the, there was a, a somebody that did a a photo journalism thing about you know, the businessmen, they just lay down and sleep. Wow. Maybe they've been at work for 20 hours or 24 hours or whatever thing. And this is the thing is that these societies, you know, after the war, they had to build up from nothing. And they developed this work ethic that we just don't have here. And I'm sorry, in the West, we just don't have that work ethic. But I don't know what I'm talking about. But it'd be interesting to see or talk to somebody maybe that's lived in Japan and, and taken on that culture uh, as their own and... Um, you know what it's actually like to be there and the mentality because and then even how that affects you now if you're immersed back into you know i get on that so who knows dean like this like red cap says dean does these on podcasts because he can talk for days she means that in a good way but seriously sorry seriously i'm sorry she meant that in a positive way i put a negative spin on that one um yes she says the hikikomori 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 Oh, 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 hikikomori. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is that the missing millions? Yeah, that must be uh, it. K- Katie, yeah. Yeah. Lo- See, there's always lots to talk about. Lots to talk about. Um, we should just have like a channel where we just keep it open all the time. That would be insane. And people just like Esme will be here for a while. She'll be like, okay, this silic. She's into silicone yeah, dolls. You gotta, you gotta think of three. Sure, freaky. Silicone dolls are freaky. That's a whole other subject freaky. matter. But um. So I did want to say that I'm still going to come on here and do lives. Maybe not every week. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, that was sort of to help me get through the chaos of trying to get three videos at a week. But things are not as crazy. Because in order to produce a podcast, I am but one human. I can't be everywhere at once. So I will filter in the lives here and there. But you'll come join me live occasionally. On the podcast? Here. Yeah. I, I like, into I like to talk. To, I like fun. to talk. And seem like I'm important when I'm really not, but yeah, be fun. Oh yeah, no, and Daisy no, yeah. said you should do short interviews with fans from around the world. Heck yes, I like it. I did do a little bit of that on oh, Facebook, but the great. audience isn't there, and it would be nice to do it on, on a podcast or on YouTube. Yeah, you know, I, I like it. Did you? Is this what we talked about on this? Was this on uh, YouTube where you could pick somebody? That was on Facebook. On Facebook, and you can pick somebody, and then you can and talk. you can do it at the same time. I think that would be cool to do. I think we should do more of that. That is cool. But yeah. have like some subject because I feel like this. I, it's it's good to talk and speak your mind, but we don't do the research. I mean, how can we even have anything that we talk about? We don't really do any research. We just sat down cold. Today. I sit down and usually do that for mine. Sorry. We did a special thing for you, my little. All right, we're gonna go wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks Please for watching. Subscribe guys. if you're new, and uh, see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.